Well, let's see about see about thirty nine. Well, I I'm a huge horror fan. I love horror movies, and um, probably the worst thing is when you feel like you're in a horror movie for a minute. Um, it's happened a few times in my life where you, you just sort of having an experience and it seems like a scene from a movie that you're familiar with or something or you're in a location that feels just like a place in a movie um and one of the situation one of the things that i um had was my um brother-in-law owned a little cabin in the woods and he would go out to it occasionally and i went with him a couple of times um for fun i don't know and it felt kind of like the evil dead um, if you've ever seen The Evil Dead, that long trip in the woods out to the um, the cabin, and um, I kind of felt lucky in a way that we had like a cabin in the woods we could go to, because there were so many horror movies where people go to a cabin in the woods, um, and um, it was this big long ride, and you'd go through these areas of this dense forest and um, these giant sort of um, um, fern trees and man ferns and all this sort of stuff, and really beautiful and sometimes in winter be misty and mysterious and it's really beautiful and the long trip out and we sort of get there and um obviously there's no one around there's nothing to do the cabin's kind of small um it's just one bedroom with two beds and then a main sort of room it's like the kitchen the lounge with a um a, like a couch by under the window just this, sort of the same as the house in Evil Dead, except not as long, because the front of that house is just two little windows and a door, and that's it. That's exactly what this house looked like, except it didn't extend back as far, so it wasn't as big. But um, it just felt like that, and I just felt like I was in a horror movie. And um, nothing much happened the first couple of times when I was there. Um, we just, you know, we just looked around at stuff, walked around and stuff, just, you know, hung out, talked, whatever. But then um, one time we'll st we had a guy stay there with us and his kid and he was about my age so it was a friend of my brother-in-law's and um, his kid about the same age and we were um, out in um, a tent because he had a tent they were sleeping in a tent and me and my brother-in-law were sleeping in the house but I went out and hung out in the tent for a while and while we were there because there was a river just down a little bit far from, just a little bit down from there a little um, creek and in the moonlight you could see the water like the light on the water and we were just standing there and we could hear something and we were listening and it felt like someone walking around and we're like is there someone out here with us and we're like no it's so far out there'd be no one out here but if they were what would they be doing here you know and we just listened, and we we're looking and we could see something breaking like the moonlight there was something standing in it felt like there was someone standing in um the creek you could sort of see um that that you know they were sort of blocking the moonlight from being on the water and we're both laying there thinking, is is there someone out here, like, standing in the creek, looking up at the, at the creek, watching us? Like, what is that? And then it just sort of went away, and I'm like, was it a person? Was it an animal? If it was an animal, it would have had to be fairly big. We don't have bears in Tasmania or anything. We don't have Tasmanian devils anymore. Um, I don't think it could have been a kangaroo or something like that. They can be kind of big, but it felt it was just like a person just standing out there in the creek, just looking up at the house and watching us and maybe not realizing realizing that we were in the um the tents because they were kind of small and they were sort of um right near some um trees and bush and that could we sort of put them sort of onto that a little bit to sort of give a bit of um shelter so that he might whoever it was they might not have seen us they would just would have seen the lights in the cabin and i just felt like that's freaky what is why is there someone out here and why are they watching um, the cabinet where did they go so that that freaked us out and i don't think i think we might have sort of basically ran back up to the cabin and stayed in there but i don't think so i think we actually i think they stayed in the tent and i don't know if we actually told my brother-in-law i'm not sure maybe he just didn't believe us i can't really remember but i don't think if, if we told him he didn't take us seriously and they slept in the tent outside we slept in um the the cabin like normal but we never found out, you know, who that was or what they were doing, you know, because as far as I knew, no one lived in that area, no one lived near. My brother owned a lot of um, land, my uh, brother-in-law owned a lot of land, because um, I think his family was actually kind of rich, which I never really realised, because they never associated with my side of the family, because um, my sister would go and visit them at Christmas and Easter, and they n we, we never saw them, we never visited them, they um, were like country club people, and they had, he had a lot of land, he's now on the council, he's like, you know, so... Um, 
he had a lot of land and I don't there was no one around there so I don't know what anyone was doing on his property walking around the middle of the night standing around watching you know over the cabin and that so that was creepy and that was scary um but I kind of love it now <laughs> as a story to tell but at the time it was like you know <laughs> I'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks bye